Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Serena. Thank you so much for joining me here again today. If you're new, welcome. But if you're not, like I said, welcome back. Today I am, oops. <laughs> today I'm going to talk about the Elf and Duncan collab. I am actually really excited about this collaboration. Um, I have been a loyal Duncan customer for a minute. I love me some Duncan. I love Starbucks, but Duncan like really just holds me down. My go-to is a oat milk, iced oat milk latte. I usually get hazelnut, but like during the holiday times, I would get, you know, pumpkin spice or around Christmas time. I think I tried like, they're like a peppermint, but I don't, like just an iced oat milk latte has been holding me down. Let me know in the comments what your favorite drink is from Dunkin'. So we are going to get into this collab. Dunkin' released um, a few cute little things with Elf. Uh, we're going to talk about the I didn't get the entire collection because I did buy it online and then when I went to go buy some things some things were sold out and I even did go into Ulta and um yeah the things that I didn't purchase they didn't have there either so so well what I have is just what I have so let's go ahead and get into this review slash uh try on <laughs> Okay, so to make this review easier, I think I keep knocking my stuff off this table. <laughs> so I'm going to um, mention the things that I did buy, their prices, swatch the eyeshadow palettes. We will pick one and just go from there. So the I, when I first saw the that Elf has a collab with Duncan, this is the first item that I saw and I was like, I have to get it. It is the donut like blending sponge. It is so cute. I've like watched other videos like how girls use it. I know it's not gonna be good for um, applying concealer or like anything that you really need angled, but it's a good like face sponge to just apply your, uh, your foundation. Like it's cute. And what I really love, like let me just side note, my marketing brain is like turning on. The attention to details, like look, look babe, this is the, <laughs> the walk-in sticker when you order ahead. And like this on the back, I was like, genius. I love it. So the Beauty uh, Face Sponge, this is $9. Um, next, I got the Don't, <laughs> ah, so funny. <laughs> next, I got the Donut Forget Putty Primer. Um, again, with that cute little uh, attention to detail. And the Putty Primer, this was $12. Um, e.l.f. has very, very good putty primers. I would probably say it's a dupe for, um, Tatcha, for real. Uh, there's... But I do think that, um, e.l.f. has really good putty primers. They have one that's like, what, I think matte, or there's a hydrating one. I think there's like a shimmer one. It comes in all... Ooh whatever kind of uh, like glow or non-glow that you're looking for, like e.l.f. has you covered. So for only $12, ain't terrible. Um, next I got was the Duncan e.l.f. Glazed for Days lip gloss set. And it comes in this orange and pink. It does look very juicy. So when I've seen girls like try it on, I, I wear a lot of my lip glosses and like lip products with a um, lip liner. For this one, I'm I'm gonna try it on first without a lip liner. I just need that brown lip liner security blanket, but I'm gonna try it on without. And this was $12, you do get two. Um, and they're actually a keychain, if you can hear the, hear that going on. So $12. And then the last thing that I got from the collection was the eyeshadow palette. Um, and that comes in a set of three. And that is the, uh, oh yeah, it just says Duncan Dozen eyeshadow set. So the first one I believe is the chocolate frosted with sprinkles. Then you have a strawberry frosted with sprinkles. And then the last one is Boston cream, which I do not like Boston cream donuts. I, I, let me just side note. I like jelly filled donuts. I just need to be warned that it's jelly filled because on Valentine's day, um, I got a donut. A donut was given to me because it was in the shape of a heart. It was cute. It had little sprinkles on it. I bit into it. I didn't know it was cream filled and it just, Mm, I need to prepare myself for that. Anyways, so, okay, back to what we were talking about. Um, let's go ahead and do our face. So I am going to use as many e.l.f. products as I do have. However, I do not have any e.l.f. 
uh, camo BB cream. I thought I did. Um, but yeah, I really thought I had some e.l.f. like <laughs> foundation. I don't. So in the meantime, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Glowish Skin Tint, but the other products that I do have are all from e.l.f. So let's get started. Okay, so to get this look started, let's go ahead and use the Donut Forget Putty Primer. Again, here is the cover, and it has this nice kind of like orangey um, color to it. I don't know if it's a shimmer, but we're gonna find out. That actually looks like maybe too much. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it may be a little shimmery. Is it? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Oh, it smells like, I don't know, it smells like some kind of like sweet dessert. I don't know, it doesn't smell like chocolate. What does it smell like? I don't know. But it, it's not like a, like a, like it's too sweet, but it's, it's definitely noticeable since a lot of my products that I have or use don't have a fragrance. It smells, I don't know, maybe like that artificial like chocolate kind of smell. It doesn't bother me, but I'm like, hmm, what's that? And it's really soft, but I'm still gonna go ahead and wet that sponge just to see how big the donut can be. <laughs> um, and make sure that everything really blends in as smooth as I can. This is so big. <laughs> oh, let's see. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. that's the only thing that is annoying just how big the sponge is but again it's it's cute <laughs> it's cute so it's fine but it is you know not practical to get into those crevices right under your under eye or like beside your nose so I may go in and touch those areas actually whatever we're gonna, we're gonna do concealer anyways so like I said we're going to um, use our other e.l.f. products. I'm gonna go ahead and just speed this whole process up because you are here for the Duncan collab. You don't need to see all these steps. Okay, so our base is done. Foundation, concealer, bronzer, cutty blush is on. And we're together. Next, let's go ahead and jump into these eyeshadow palettes. So I think, hmm, I don't know. Do I wanna go for this pink look? Do I wanna go brown? Oh, I really do like this brown look though. But oh, I love neutral so much. I'm like, oh, should I go outside the box? And what I usually do, what should we do? So again, we have Boston cream, um, chocolate sprinkle or strawberry sprinkle. Hmm. Oh, they're all shimmers though. That's the thing. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna mix and match for a real. So I'm just gonna take that brown from the Boston Cream. Yeah, because that's a shimmery brown. I don't want a straight shimmer eye. So we're gonna take this matte brown from Boston Cream and again, put that in our crease. See, there we go. So you can really see how pigmented that is. I feel like I need to bring this mirror a little closer. There we go. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead in our transition shade, let's take, hmm, I'm like, little, yeah, I'm gonna use both of these. <laughs> um, do I wanna take this brown also from the Boston Cream or this yellow? Mm, let's do the matte brown right in front of it, right on my finger, and that wants a little shimmer to it. You know what? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take that brown from the Boston Cream and just apply that right on our lid. Yeah, it has a nice little shimmer to it. I thought it would be a little bit more, give us a little bit more pigment, but that's okay. Um, Next, let's take this shimmery yellow. Actually, let me bring that brown down to the center of my eye a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, so far, what do we think? It's just a simple brown eye, nothing too spectacular yet. But um, I think the, I don't know, the pigments, it's okay so far. 
it's okay it's okay um let's take this yellow shimmer um i'm going to take hmm because i know i want the blue right in the center of my eye yellow oh gosh this is why i don't do colors because i know oh god okay let's take this yellow across our entire lid on top of that brown um and this is from the yellow from the uh chocolate frosted with sprinkles and it has a shimmer to it See if that actually shows up. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Ooh, nice. Okay. Let me actually kind of blend that in. Oh yeah, it's actually like more gold than what I was expecting. My dog is going crazy out there. And because I did get a little bit too much of it above like where I want it, I'm gonna go back with that. Um, matte brown. So it looks like the blue and yellow have kind of mixed together and joined forces and made green. It's still pretty shimmer, not exactly what I was going for, but I do like the blue and yellow kind of combination. Um, again, this is just makeup. We are having fun. That's what makeup's about. We're trying out new things, new colors, going outside our comfort zone, and we're just creating right now. So I do like it, even though, you know, I thought they were gonna be separate, they've joined forces, I'm with it. So um, I think that brings us lastly is to our lips, if I'm correct. Yeah, and so like I said, with this, I will try them without a lip liner first, um, just so we can really see, you know, what the liners or what the glosses look like in their true form. But this is the Glazed for Days. Uh, there's a pink and an orange. So, let's see what that looks like. And you just put it right on your little keychain. I feel like I haven't had keychain lip gloss since I was like a child. Wow. Um, let's, let's go for orange. I, I really wanna see how this is gonna look and if it's gonna like super, super orange. Just jump into it. I was gonna like try to test it out first. No, just jump right into it. Oh my God, this is so orange. <laughs> God, it tastes just like coffee like like mocha it's like a chocolate coffee kind of flavor oh my gosh that's so cute no this is definitely orange um now i'm like almost i want to see the pink let me go ahead and wipe this off so you guys can see the pink oh this is really really pink yeah i think that's the orange one better at least for this look yeah this one tastes like coffee too oh my gosh okay so this is the pink one on like it feels so good i can't stop rubbing my lips together <laughs> mm. and it tastes so good mm. okay so this is the pink lip gloss but i do think for the sake of this look i will switch back to the orange i just wanted to show you guys what both of them look like on so i think that brings us to the end of this look okay so my overall thoughts on the elf and duncan collab i think this is a very cute collab um I know e.l.f. tends to do a lot of fun collabs, like they've done one with Chipotle, um, and just very fun, like, you know, kind of things that will get people's attention. I do think this collab was very fun. I enjoyed the Dunkin lip glosses, the beauty sponge. Um, I, I will say personally, I wasn't too happy with the shadows. Um, I thought I would really like the, um, which one is this? I thought I would really like the chocolate frosted with sprinkles, but this last brown shade was a shimmer and it may be a little, I don't know. I just don't like straight shimmer eyes. It would have been nice to have like maybe a matte in like all of them, but that would be my only kind of uh, flaw out of this collection. I thought the glosses were amazing. I will definitely be using these glosses. Um, maybe not hooking it onto like my purse or my keychain, but I did definitely like the orange gloss. The pink one was definitely a vibe, but orange was definitely more my flavor. Um, and then again, with the putty primer, I think the, I mean, e.l.f. does primer amazing, so this was no different. Uh, just only thing, if you are sensitive to smells, this may not be the collaboration for you. It does have a kind of chocolate coffee scent going throughout. I can even taste it right now as I am talking to you guys. But yeah, this was my overall. I think if you are into fun little collabs, this is the one for you. Um, if not, definitely get the beauty sponge. I wish I did get the brushes or the coffee uh, lip scrub, but I could not find those. 
um, online or in store. But again, this is definitely my favorite out of this entire collection. So I would recommend it if you're really into fun, kind of quirky little makeup things. If not, get the beauty sponge. It's cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. Bye.